After we've tapered the sides, we need to lay out where we're going to drill the holes for the dowel rods. And to do that, we're going to draw a line down the middle of the top of our base. And if we measure this, you can see that it's an inch and a half wide. So the middle is three quarters. I'll make a mark right there at three quarters and I'll come down a little bit and make a mark down here at three quarters. If I connect those two lines, that will give us a line right down the middle. This is, we can just eyeball that and we'll do the same. I'll just eyeball the middle. We'll expect about the middle. I'm going to use my fingers to, on the side, this finger right here, to carry the mark up and down. Now, what we need to do is about an inch apart is what we need to do. Um, so you can just eyeball that. I'm going to make a little mark there. Another mark there. You can measure it if you like. That's pretty close. I'm a little less, but that's fine. Actually, I'm a little more. I'm about an one inch and a sixteenth, but this will be fine. And then what we're going to do is take this and kind of lay it on there. It's probably it's probably be hard to see, but what I'm doing is laying this down here. I'm just trying to just transferring these marks down. Holding this steady. Actually, I want this like this. Just finding out where those marks are. And I'm going to just kind of eyeball them so they're directly beneath each other. Before we drill these at the drill press, we're going to take a scratch all and we're going to mark where we want to drill. So I'm just going to take it and just Make a little indent there with the point of the scratch all, and we'll do the same to the top, and then we'll drill them at the drill press. So we're going to drill a quarter inch holes at the drill press. We're not going to drill all the way through, so we're going to set the table so that it goes, it's, that the drill bit doesn't go all the way through. So that they've pulled the uh, handle of the, the feed arm of the drill press all the way down and it's not going to go through. I'm going to bring the table up just a little bit. So I'm going to turn this uh, handle right here a little bit, come up just a couple, about a half a turn. That's a little bit better. So you, so you can see we're only going to come we about an eighth of an inch of material left before we get all the way through. So that's where we're going to set the depth to. And we're going to hold the the base in a in a clamp and one of these parallel jaw clamps i'm just going to get it set up and use the back screw here to hold it to tighten and loosen it so i've got that held tightly the reason for that is when we're, we want to hold on to this when we're drilling this is a smaller piece harder to hold on to if it got away from us it would start spinning around so we got a good grip uh, by holding it with with the clamp. So all we're going to do is turn it on, press the green button till it starts, and just drill all the way down as far as you can go. I bring the after I turn it on, as I bring it down, I'm moving this till I get right into the little indent that we made with the scratch all. Just making little adjustments, and right there. And drill the next hole. And the base is drilled. Now we're going to drill the, uh, the, the top part. So we're going to change the, the way we hold it. We're going to narrow this vise, keep them parallel, or narrow the clamp. And we got a good hold of this, and we have to lower the table. So I'm going to crank it down. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull it down as far as we can go. So 
So we're probably going to go down about three quarters of an inch. So right about there is about right. So we'll just repeat that process on the, the top part. Mm -hmm. 